hi family it's your girl Kay Gilda with yet another video on how to make the flower head band this is what i'm talking about this is the part of the k organics crafts i hope you enjoy this video and if you're new do not forget to subscribe so we're starting off with a glue gun and um, then the glues the glue for the gun and you'll need some buttons round buttons slightly bigger uh, those ones I'd, I'd used some of them on something else so i had to remove to show you to use as i do this video to show you how it's done the number of buttons depend on how many headbands you're going to make and then you're going to need an elastic band and the soft material of your choice i'm using ankara and another hard material of your choice you can get any or you can still use softs but i love to put hard and soft together now we are going to cut we are doing the cutting i forgot you'll need a scissor a good sharp scissor you're going to cut not too big unless you want really big flowers a really big big flower so you're going to cut just focus on what i am doing you cut straight i didn't measure i was measuring with my eyes so you can also measure with your eyes and see no, like you're going to cut squares out of that very small squares out of that just focus on what i am doing because explaining is a bit tricky You're going to cut about five or six or seven of the squares. I love to cut five or six. Seven is a little too big, but you can, it's your choice depending on how many. Are they called petals you want for your flower? Yeah, so I'm going to cut about six or five of them. use one of the already cut squares to cut the other squares put that you've already cut on top of the fabric and cut the other squares using it i hope this explanation helps that is what i'm doing and then cut there you'll know you have the same sizes these are my squares up close you can see them please make sure you iron your fabric yeah you're seeing i'm having wrinkled fabric iron so that it helps you while you're cutting and shaping i hope this helps so we are getting started you hit your glue on the glue inside the glue gun and then you get that corner one corner of the square and bring it to the other corner like you're making a triangle i'm trying to put the camera well so that you can see and then i'm using both my hands here so it's tricky then you're going to fold that triangle again into two fold it once like that and then you'll still have another smaller triangle you get my point now you're going to join the corners the two corners of the triangle on the other side that is cut join the corner and the mid the middle corner and corner to form to make a petal you see that don't worry i'm going to show you closer a closer bit of it don't worry and then you're going to glue that end you see it's as simple as that guys not too hard sometimes when you want something and you can't find it anywhere you can come to my video run here and watch and learn and do it for any glue of your choice can work you don't really need to have glue but the glue for the guns are better so here the what i was saying you're going to sorry my camera okay there we are gluing the middle part and the two corners to close that part i've brought it more close i'm using one hand here guys i'm trying to to film with the other hand because the, the camera was on the ring light but it's not helping so you see that is the second smaller triangle after folding the first and then you see that corner and the other corner yes then the middle part you have to join them together like this see 
where you're going to glue them you can either put glue before you join or you can put join together and then you can attach some glue but make sure it is neat yeah don't go pouring glue all over the fabric otherwise your flower will look disorganized and messed up and not pretty so here see i'm going to put glue i enjoy doing it when i've already folded it's easier uh be careful with your fingers yeah be careful this glue is hot it's hot glue so when you're joining together you're going to use your fingers but make sure you don't get burnt yeah just be careful don't get burnt you can use any fabric glue any glue that can hold fabric together be careful guys be careful while you join these you see there's glue remaining on my hands this glue is hot so if you don't like hot things uh, our petal is is ready yeah our petal is ready you can see the down part didn't glue so well i'm going to glue it too i'm going to add some more glue and so guys here is our petal the first petal i'm going to make more of these petals more of these petals you see they have made, I've made, I've made. You can see there are six. I've made six of them. Let's join them and see. All right, guys. You remember the other yellow hard fabric I talked about? This one? This is where you're going to use it now. You're going to cut a very small circle. That is even big. Really smaller than that. Small circle. You get? Yeah very small circle like that cut it out you see how my circle looks like it's small it's not big it shouldn't be big otherwise it's going to show in between your petals and then you're going to attach the petals like this you see that attach remember you're going to have to put glue on that round fabric where you're going to place the petal don't worry i'm going to show you you see you can arrange before you you glue so you can you are sure if your petals are looking nice or if they are enough you get so you see how it looks like when you glue that is how it's going to look like so let's start gluing put glue when you do that it it actually helps you know where to place the petal there you know one petal goes there you're going to put pet another play another one all round all round you're going to do the same thing so this is how it looks like mm. remember we are not yet done guys we are not yet done so this is how it looks like the petals the flower is already coming out remember our button I removed one of the, the one of the fabric that was on you remember the colored ones yeah i opened it up you can put your button like that without any fabric on it or you can cover it just like what i'm going to do still another round fabric and then you glue it all around the the what the button don't worry you know i'm going to show you this is what i'm talking about not a lot of glue please don't use a lot of glue we are gluing if you have machine that presses buttons yeah that is also another option you can go press as many as you want and just pick so this is it guys this this we glue we glue we glue we glue Please, if you are a new subscriber, my name is Kay Gilda. And uh, if you haven't yet subscribed too, please do not forget to subscribe. Hit that notification button so that you are reminded of when I post another video. So here I do videos on uh, natural hair, fun, adventure, travel, crafts. So things to do with creativity, basically. Yeah so our button is done and then we glue the button in the middle of the flower you remember you remember our fabric yes our petals i mean you bring the button and place in the middle of the 
you see what i was talking about so i was filming using one of my hands and also trying to put the camera and then this is not perfect yeah but i've showed you how to do it because you see the glue you can see glue on the corners some parts of the fabric so be careful with glue i had some challenges while filming this so where to place the camera the right position at some point i have to work with one hand so you get your elastic band in a size that you want you glue the ends to form a one circular elastic band this is what i'm talking about then you place in the middle of that of that yellow of that yellow hard fabric and then you cut another round fabric from the soft fab another round shape from the soft fabric and place on top of the elastic band and the yellow hard fabric i don't know if you watch this you're going to understand it explaining is a bit tricky so to cover that yellow part so it does not overshow use the same fabric from the petals the ones you used on the petals or you can still leave it like or use another fabric hard fabric like the yellow one yeah and still at any any that you're okay with or something black so it does not like show completely show yeah glue that properly so it does not open guys it is not that neat but i have given you the idea i am just trying to show you how you can do it i made a couple of them the other day for the natural hair day and people loved it so many and all of them were sold so there are people who wanted if you if you watch this video and you can you still can't make it by yourself let me know each piece is only five thousand ugandan shillings so here is our floral headband that's the back this is the front and we are done we are done check check here my sister is the model thank you guys for watching and see you again next time love you